every girl wants to have tone in her arms and beautiful shoulders to show off a dress. And people ask me all the time, how do you get arms like that at 57? I'm going to show you. In the next 10 minutes, we're going to do some exercises that if you do them religiously, you'll get long, lean, functional arms that have some tone and look really young. So, um, usually you would do a warm-up um, footwork series, but since we only have 10 minutes, we're going to focus just on the arms. Um, I'm going to start with two chords. You're going to work up. So the more bulk, the more definition you want in your arms, the higher number of chords. But you never um, jeopardize stability. So if, for example, there's a lot of chords on and you're shaking, then you need to take a chord off because it's always about stability, posture, and control. So sitting on the platform, uh, typically in the beginner level, you would sit with your bottom up against the shoulder pads, and you're sitting nice and tall in your arms. Um, down by your side, and we're going to um, to start with uh, circles, little tiny circles. So lift, and then so your arms are straight out in front of you, and you're going to make circles. Now, can you see that my body is not moving? My abs are working really hard to keep my lower body totally stable, and my shoulders are down, and um, and my shoulder blades are back and down. So. I'm very stable in the upper body as well as the lower body. And the circles are small because I want to, I don't want to go out of range of motion of the shoulder joint. So I did 10 in one direction, now 10 in the other direction. A little bit harder when you're going the other way. You have to, can you see how I have to squeeze my tummy every time I pull? Because I'm moving through space. So my brain is registering a certain lack of stability which makes me use my stabilizing muscles. All right, so that's the circles. Now, for the triceps, the push out, push and bend, push and bend. So it's breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. Do 10 of them. Can you see my triceps working? Again, my abs are working really hard. If this is too hard for you, you can always take a cord off. Remember that. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. And now the traditional Pilates exercise, so the brownies. So pull up and down, and up and down. Notice how there's lots of length between my ear and my shoulders. And my ears are really over my shoulders. I'm not sitting this way. I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm long and tall. And my head is like a natural extension of my spine. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And last one. Ten. And now hug a tree. I'm just going to take my cord off here. Okay. So up to this position now. Out only until I can see my hands and my peripheral vision. You never go back here unless you want to figure rotator. Keep them in your peripheral vision. Pull in and out. This is a wonderful exercise for opening up the chest. If you sit at a computer all day, you're really going to feel how this opens up this whole area here, stretching. So I'm stretching and strengthening. Stretching and strengthening. And you can turn this a little bit too and do like an eagle. It feels really good as well. And five, two more. One or the traditional hug tree. It's like you're hugging a great big man or a great big tree. Two. Let's do two more. One and two. And now salute. Turn your hands. Now pivot forward a little bit at the hips so that you're stable. Push from your forehead up to where the wall meets the ceiling, but keep your shoulders down and your neck long. Two. Tricep exercise. Three. Four.
And now the other effect will shave the back of the head. So you're actually coming from behind your head. So you pivot a little bit further forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. All right, and now bicep curl and chest expansion. I do them religiously because that's how I keep my arms. And I do them with as many cords as I can because I want to have a little more tone. So you turn the other way, pick up your straps, roll back into a crunch so that your abdominals are actually engaged. And now elbows into your side, bicep curl. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. You want to make this a little harder? If you like. Eight, nine, and then you do one. Ten. Let's do twenty. Let's get those arms really looking great for the summer. Now chest expansion, which is exactly as it says, all about opening up the chest, but also working the tricep muscle. It's a difficult exercise, so let's do it on one cord, arms long by your side, and you're just going to pull back and hold and release. Pull back, hold and release. Now Joe Pilates used to make you add a head turn because he didn't want you at this. So if you had to turn your head, you couldn't do it if it was up like that. So it's your choice. Six. You can really see the tricep working. It's also opening up the chest. Again, great for anyone that sits at a desk or is sitting hunched forward or if you're starting to get a hump in your back. Two more. One. And two, and because we really don't want that way of goodbye, let's do ten more with a bend. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. Ten. Great. Now, on as few chords as possible, Side spinning. Cross your legs. If you can't cross your legs, by the way, you can always place your legs straight out in front. Or when you're sitting sideways, you can place them on the floor. So I'm going to go down to one yellow cord here. This is quite a difficult exercise. But it's great for the shoulder and for the rotator cuff. So you start with the, the back hand, and the hand is in the strap. And you're just going to pull the elbow into your side and pull your hand across your belly. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Really strengthens that rotator. Seven, eight, nine. If you can work with more cords, feel free. Ten. And now the back hand, same thing. Pull across from across your belly to the perpendicular. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and then obviously on the other side, ten. And when you finish, your arms will be looking gorgeous and you'll be feeling confident enough to wear a beautiful backless dress. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the last one, ten, and now the other hand, one, two, three, four, Eight. 
two more. Nine. And ten. So soon people will be asking you how you get those beautiful arms. This video and many more like it are available on LighterLiving.com through our new streaming video fitness club. Please visit LighterLiving.com and check out each of Marjolyn's videos where she gives you her very own 10-minute workouts with titles like My Knees Hurt or My Hips Hurt, and where she provides the rehabilitative Pilates exercises that people look for when suffering from these ailments, and many more like them. The club is updated at least once per week, and we hope you'll join us soon. There's no day better than today to start living a lighter, longer life.